Hey students, we're going to continue where we left off in lesson 53 and we're going to be talking about weight combination by percent. So, so far we've investigated the relative weights of the elements in a chemical compound by using ratios. So for example, in a molecule of this compound, there are two atoms of sodium, two atoms of sulfur, and three atoms of oxygen. And if we use the gram atomic weights of these elements that are listed here, we can find the gram molecular weight of the molecule, of one, one molecule. And so um, before we were using ratios maybe to solve for um, one of these elements, let's say if I gave you a, a new total amount for the compound, but we're going to be doing something slightly different, so I'll show you. So again, um, we have two atoms of sodium, and its gram atomic weight is 23, so we put a 23 there. And remember, we've got two of them, so if we multiply those two together, we get 46. So that's the weight of the elements for um, sodium. And then we do the same thing for here. So sulfur, we have two of them, and its gram atomic weight is 32. Multiply that together, we get 64. And then finally for oxygen, we have three of those. Its gram atomic weight is 16. Multiply those, and you get 48. And then remember, we add down to get the total weight of one molecule of the compound, or the gram molecular weight. And so when we add down, we get 158, 158 grams. And again, each of these are grams as well. So remember before, we were asked a question. Um, maybe we would say, OK, so if we have 474 grams of the compound, how much does the sodium weigh? And so you would take sodium over the total, and then you would put, um, so I'll just say here, so example, sodium over the total, and maybe you'd be asked to find, again, sodium, um, I meant sulfur, <laughs> uh, sulfur, and it would tell you um, 474 let's say you had 474 grams of the compound. So that's what you were finding before, okay? Um, but now what we're gonna do is we're going to find the percents of each of the elements. So it says the decimal part of the total made up by each element can be found by dividing the atomic weight of the element by the molecular weight of the molecule. So for example, so for sodium, and again, that one's NA. So that one is 46 out of 158. Okay, and then when you divide that, you'll get 0 0.29, 0 0.29. And if you were to convert that to a percent, right, we just move it over two decimal places. So that would be... 29%. Okay? And we can do that for all these other ones too. So for sulfur, so that one's the S, right? We can say um, 64 out of 158. We divide that using our calculator, we get 0.41 or 0 0.41. And again, if you want to write that as a percent, we can say that that is 41%. And then for the final one, we've got oxygen designated by O. And then that one again is 48 out of 158. And then you end up with 0.3 or 0 
0.30, and that's 30%. So that's what we're going to do on this particular one. We don't even have to write a ratio um, for these. We're just finding the percent. We're just dividing the total weight of each element by the total weight of one molecule of the compound. So um, I'll just do one more example, and then that's it. Um, so in your book, this is example five, but it says what percent by weight of, so we'll say what percent by weight of this compound Na2S2O3 is, and then it asks for sodium. Well, we just found that back up here. It says what percent by weight of that compound of sodium? It's 29%. So that's all they want you to do.